Hey everyone, so we're gonna get into a, uh, a pretty difficult song today that not a lot of people know. Um, they just played it for a little while on their tour, I think in 2004, before Stand Up came out. I think the album, uh, a lot of the songs they were working on that summer were like Crazy Easy, Joyride, Sugar Will, maybe a couple of others I can't think of off the top of my head, but um, they didn't end up making the album. I think Joyride was a B-side of, of that, but um, but anyway, Sugar Will is one of my favorite songs to play, one of my favorite songs to listen to. It's a very tough song. The, the, there are a lot of kind of stretches and um, some interesting little strumming patterns. It, it jumps into 7-8 for a little while, which I'll get into later, and then jumps back into 4-4 four, four timing. So time signature is a little, little weird, but, um, but just practice as much as you can. Really listen to it a lot. Uh, if you go to davetabs.com, they have fantastic tablature. Um, for each, and it breaks down each part of this song really, really well. Probably better than I can break it down. Um, but this will give you something if you can maybe have your, you know, have your phone and, uh, you know, playing the YouTube video with Dave Tabs pulled up on a, on a laptop or an iPad or something. It's, it works out really well for you. Um, so anyways, uh, the, uh, the intro is going to sound like this. And what, uh, also remember that everything we're strumming on this, the strumming is pretty much the same. Uh, the time signature changes, uh, the timing changes in it. Uh, you're still pretty much gonna be strumming the same pattern down here, um, even throughout the chorus. But, uh, so we'll start out with our middle finger, seventh fret, D string, four finger, uh, G string, fifth fret. And you're only hitting the D and G string. You don't wanna hit any other strings, just hit those two. And then we're gonna come here with our, uh, with our pinky finger on the D string on the ninth fret. And then bring it down to the G string. When you pluck it here, when you go, it's just that by itself. When you bring it down here, it's gonna be the D and the G string together again. Um, so you'll be hearing this and this. back up there again so we'll go and then take that back off and it'll just be that open fifth and seventh on the D and G and then bring that back that pinky back down there again start back again start that back over you'll hit this twice so okay and like I said um, I won't go I won't explain that strumming pattern because it's the same throughout the whole the whole song um, but I'll just go down to each chord so now we'll be down here, uh, we got our four finger on the G string, second fret, middle finger, D string, third fret. And then we'll be doing that same thing. This is a little bit of a stretch down here as the frets get spaced out more. But um, like I said, we'll be doing the same thing, but you'll just be going between those two strings on the fifth fret. And then when you hit that, you're going to come back up to that same chord we were just playing in the intro. And you hit that twice. And we're going to come up here. And we'll be, like I said, all throughout this intro, we're going to be on the D and the G strings. We'll be on the 10th fret, 9th fret, and then we'll be uh, bringing that pinky on and off the D and G strings on the 12th fret. drop right back down here to the uh, this time we're gonna be on the eighth fret seventh fret and the uh, tenth fret here and then drop back down and start that over 
okay? And that's that, the, uh, the verse. back down here it changes up a little bit for the chorus but you're still gonna play that it's that same chord that we were at down here to begin the first verse and then we're gonna slide up we're gonna slide up to the fifth fret now we're gonna be on the A and the D string we'll be on the fifth fret fourth fret and then we'll bring our pinky down here to the seventh fret so you go here Pinky on the 5th fret D string, pinky on the 5th fret G string, and then you're going to slide. So, and that's all you're doing is you're just, you're putting that pinky on the 7th fret A string. Don't bring it down here, you're just, we'll do the same thing, same chord shape down here, we're just coming down one fret. Slide up. You just gotta hit that slide fast because that's what I, I, that was always the mistake that I made on this song was trying to get that, keeping the time signature going while you, uh, with that slide. That's just, that's going into the chorus where he said, sugar, rain, poison, okay? And that is the, um, that is this, uh, where you, they, they drop into seven, eight time signature right here. And like I said, it's probably better to listen to one of the live versions. There's a really good live version, I think from 2004 at Golden Gate Park in San Francisco where you can really, really hear the time signature. But we're gonna be, for this chorus, we'll be uh, on the A string, fifth fret, uh, the D string, third fret here. A little bit of a stretch, I know. But we'll be. So we'll go pinky on, we'll go pinky is off, and then on the A string, seventh fret, and then on the uh, seventh fret D string. And then you immediately go from there down to uh, this kind of a C shape right here. It's gonna be on the third fret A string, second fret D string. And then, sorry. That's going to be leading into the chorus, and that's the chorus right there. And then, um, and then you come right back down into that intro here. And then we'll come back down, and just and it's going to be that verse over again. It's been a while since I've played this song. Like I said, it's it's been a long time since I've played this song, but I really wanted to put it out there for you guys today to just get an idea of how it goes. Like I said, the, the Dave Tabs goes into a lot more detail on that song because there are so many variations within the song that I just wanted to kind of put this video out there to hopefully give you guys kind of an idea. Um, you know, like I said, it's it's a fun song to play and I've never had anybody request it or anything. I didn't figure I would, but um, more than anything, I just wanted to get this song out there for people who've never heard the songs. I think it's a fantastic song. Um, so anyways, hopefully this, I explained it somewhat decently. Like I said, if you wanna get the Dave, Tab, Dave Tab's tablature up, 
and just kind of play along with this. Hopefully I at least gave you an idea of the finger shapes and movements and things. Like I said, I know I didn't play it near perfectly, but um, but just work on it. Um, this is what happens when you when you haven't played uh, when you don't when you don't practice a specific song a lot. You get kind of get kind of rusty like I was on it. But hopefully this helped, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Any questions or comments, uh, let me know as always. And uh, thanks.